Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm an iconographer and a painter. Today I want to show you how I draw correctly uh, noses in iconography. I will share with you a couple of uh, very common uh, uh, noses in uh, uh, Byzantine uh, painting and uh, I hope you will find this video useful and interesting. Uh, for the beginning I will uh, show you how to draw the, the nose uh, of a face uh, up front. Um, it's a nose, uh, the nose of Christ uh, is uh, drawn like this. So the first thing I do, I will um, take uh, an interval of, uh, for here for this example, of 9 centimeters long. Uh, any interval will do. And uh, I will divide this interval in uh, three parts. I will uh, uh, first uh, draw a parallel line, uh, as you see here, as the bridge of the nose. And then for the lower uh, third part, uh, as you see me drawing here, I will um, reserve it to draw the, the lower part of uh, the nose. This uh, lower part of the nose has uh, a length of uh, one centimeter and a half and uh, in total with uh, the nostrils it should be a little more than uh, three centimeters uh, long. Remember that, that um, three centimeters is uh, the length of uh, the one third of uh, the length of uh, the nose in this example. So I will draw very carefully the nostrils, try to understand the, let's say, um, the, idea, the, the way that the Byzantines draw the, the noses and the, the nostrils in this uh, case. Um, the nostrils are uh, slightly um, smaller in length uh, than uh, the uh, the lower part uh, the middle lower part of uh, the nose now this is a very common uh, uh, nose we use this to, to draw saints to draw christ of course and uh, of course this video can be a companion to my online uh, course uh, in iconography, I will uh, uh, give you a link uh, below. Hi, I'm Antonis, and I'm proud to present you my online course in iconography, Paint an Icon with Me. This course will help you become a better iconographer, and it will help you be more confident when talking and presenting your artwork. It will make you understand in depth the studio practices of a professional iconographer like me, and you will get accustomed to what great iconography looks like. So, learn in a simple and organized way everything you need about the materials, mediums and techniques in order to make a beautiful icon. Paint with me the icon of Christ and learn how to paint better any icon you wish. I will see you at the studio. This course uh, is um, a set, uh, a, bu a bunch of uh, 25 videos uh, where I explain my process in painting an icon from the beginning to the end. Now, here I will uh, show you how to draw the, correctly the nose uh, in uh, three quarters. This is a very common uh, nose in iconography. We often use it uh, uh, in icons of uh, Virgin Mary. So, this is a slightly tilted uh, nose on, uh, an, uh, on its uh, axis. I will divide again uh, my, the, length, the total length of the nose in three parts. Uh, here you see me drawing a parallel line uh, on the bridge of uh, the nose. And then the, um, the lower part uh, of uh, the nose of uh, Virgin Mary. Now here, uh, I want to, when the nose is uh, on uh, like this, on uh, three thirds, um, on three quarters, I'm sorry, um, slightly tilted, uh, make sure that the lower part of the nose uh, has um, um, a slight uh, bend towards the, towards the left, uh, in this case, as we see the video. I will explain later on when I demonstrate the mistakes that many beginner iconographers uh, do when they draw noses. I will explain better what I'm talking about in a little bit. 
So I divide the length of the nose into three thirds and the lower part is the part of the nostrils. The total length of that uh, lower part um, in this case is slightly smaller than on the previous example. It is exactly the length of one third of the nose, in this case three centimeters. So from the edge of the one nostril to the edge of the other nostril, the length is three centimeters. This is a very beautiful uh, nose and um, really we have uh, amazing uh, icons uh, that uh, teach us how to draw uh, a nose uh, like this. Mostly we find uh, this in um, saints uh, uh, that tilt their head a little bit or uh, very common the icon of Virgin Mary. Anyway, I hope this is uh, helpful to you, that you find this interesting and um, if so, please uh, consider subscribing and uh, also you can support me on patreon.com on my page. Now here I want to demonstrate you a nose uh, where we find it on uh, uh, three uh, fourths uh, head, heads uh, that are uh, um, not looking as straight ahead but uh, they are not looking uh, downwards, but uh, um, um, they are, uh, we have examples uh, like this on the Angels of the Annunciation and uh, many other uh, cases. This is again a uh, nose that uh, I divide in uh, three parts and here you see that uh, instead of uh, uh, drawing the lower part uh, parallel to my first uh, axis, I will try to to give it uh, um, what you see now, it's what you shouldn't do. I will try to tilt uh, the, the lower part of the nose uh, even more, to bend it a little bit, a little bit uh, more, and uh, this will uh, give me a more um, um, suggestive uh, drawing of the nose like this. This is a very common mistake. Uh, many iconographers um, just draw the lower part of the nose following their uh, main axis, where instead uh, uh, try to slightly bend the lower part of the nose uh, uh, towards the, um, the left in this case. We see these kind of noses uh, in many saints, many angels, and uh, this, of course, uh, bending of the th lower part, the third part, shouldn't be very, um, shouldn't be exaggerated. Just make sure you give the lower part a slight, uh, um, a slight uh, bending uh, uh, inwards. And uh, then make sure that the upper part of the nose uh, has the correct uh, angle. Now I want to give you some um, examples, I will draw here freehand without measuring anything, some examples of uh, other kind of uh, noses, um, of uh, older uh, saints or prophets, uh, maybe many of them um, have this kind of nose. Uh, you can see this nose on uh, my video of uh, uh, Saint Simeon. Uh, these noses of the older men or women can be uh, slightly more uh, thick on the lower part, uh, can be less uh, um, refined, let's say, in the way they, uh, they are drawn. And uh, they are really, really beautiful uh, noses, uh, suggestive of the age, the old age of uh, the person uh, depicted. Here, uh, a very straight uh, forward, thin, very thin uh, um, nose uh, that uh, sometimes I use for uh, female uh, saints. It's really beautiful, very elegant. Um, as you see, there are not uh, major differences in, um, in drawing the noses, but uh, they can be very, very suggestive. 
here let me just uh, show you some examples of uh, mistakes that beginner iconographers uh, make. Uh, for example, uh, they often uh, draw the lower part of the nose uh, uh, to be very, very small. And uh, they don't really pay attention uh, to the shape of the nostrils or the shape uh, the lower uh, part of the nose uh, is connected to the nostrils. Or, as I said before, they don't give uh, the right uh, uh, tilt, the right bending uh, to the lower part of the nose, as I said uh, earlier. Others, they draw the, the middle part uh, uh, much bigger and much rounder than uh, uh, it should be. And of course, here uh, I draw these mistakes, uh, exaggerating, but uh, uh, really um, these are common mistakes that uh, many um, beginner uh, iconographers uh, make. If you feel that uh, um, you need to correct uh, the way you draw noses, just uh, uh, try to follow these advices and uh, try to see if uh, these advices will do something for you. So anyway, this was the video for uh, today. I hope you are uh, well, I hope you are creative, um, that you um, paint and you stay a lot in your uh, studio. A big uh, thank you for your support, for uh, uh, supporting me on Patreon.com and for subscribing to this uh, channel, it's really nice. And um, if you feel like, check my online course that uh, you'll find the link uh, below. Thank you very, very much and uh, be blessed and healthy. Bye.